make sure when you're doing the film, you don't don't do what Gilmore did and film like a hundred things that we're never going to use. Who's making tea then? I'll make tea. started the recording process last year, about this time last year, um, because James was going to be away and we had to get the drums done. Uh, so we came, we came back in December to start the guitars. About five p for a heart attack. Pretty reasonable. Bill Mitchell Gastriff. <laughs> Here's what happened to James. Obviously he didn't make it through the drumming. Um, Scott wasn't happy. Ended up on the wall. He's put a bit of weight on though, which is good. And he grew a few inches as well. Delivery for Matt Gilmore. Matt Gilmore. Hmm. Wonder why he'd have that. Who knew you were here? It's better not be like that scene from Seven. <laughs> head in it. <laughs> head in the box. Ah. Happy birthday, it's Gilmore. Me, you got me my bird, isn't it? I would, I would imagine so. Nice. Oh, look at those. Fourteen today. <laughs> So talk us through, what, what's going on here? Well, I'll talk you through the equipment first. So we've got a uh, Throat SL2 1983, uh, very well used, it's uh, gone down very well. A lot of cocks been, been in there? A lot of cocks, uh, gets a lot of action actually. Well lubricated. Well lubricated. Um, some headphones. The album was recorded with Scott Aikens uh, at Grindstone Studios in Ipswich. One time my mate was like, fucking go on there, and offered him the packet of fags. And he went and reached, reached in to take a fag and he had shit, human shit, all <laughs> over his fingers and all up his arm. <laughs> we recorded this album, everything was played in like full loops, you know, it was like done riff at a time. The drums were barely touched. It was all about getting bigger takes um, that sounded more like the band than it sounding perfect. trying to capture sort of a like an early 90s vibe where that they they didn't really have the tools to sort of like drop in for tiny little sections and cut and paste everything sometimes you, you get in this mindset where everything needs to, to be exactly the same but what you get when you do that is across the whole album it's just gonna start to stagnate a lot of metal albums these days if you listen to them 
they just sound really metronomic, really in, but it only sounds good for a couple of minutes and after that you sort of like, you become immune to anything that the, the production has to offer. Just doing the follow up to the uh, Last Darkness album. Pretty good victim, to be honest. No, yeah, I like that one. Really solid front half. I think I'm gonna shit my pants in there. You know, on the last day of uh, summer holidays, yeah? Mm. When you forgot to do all your homework. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Limp biscuit cover. No hog. Thanks to everyone for being patient with the uh, recording of this album. I know it's taken a while, but um, when you hear it, it's going to be totally worth the wait. Um, we haven't got an idea of when we're going to be releasing it, but uh, hopefully we'll have some news on that in the next few months. And um, till then, we're going to be back on the uh, back on the road gigging again. So hopefully, catch it some gigs. Mm -hmm.